today out on trail, Raven eats more snow, yet also goes for a swim, while I almost wipe out on an icy boardwalk. The Ice Age Trails Clover Valley Trailhead is located near Whitewater, Wisconsin, about an hour from Milwaukee and a little under an hour from Madison. So this is the trailhead for the Clover Valley segment. It is mostly overcast today and a little bit windy, but the temperature is about 50 degrees, so it's pretty comfortable. The Clover Valley State Wildlife Area is part of a large wetland and is managed for hunting and trapping of deer, birds, and small game. Good girl, Raven. The Ice Age Trail Guidebook notes that the segment can be seasonally flooded or very wet after heavy rainfall. Given the amount of snow that had recently melted, I was a little curious what the segment might look like, so Raven and I headed out to scope the conditions. Yeah. Nice little water source there that the trail crosses and then follows. So far, conditions have been pretty good. It's a little bit soggy and sloppy. There's patches of snow to be found out here, and Raven is loving those. She seems to take a bite out of every little pile that she passes. A little bit swampier back here. Got some water in the middle of the trail for sure. Go ahead. The Clover Valley segment is a relatively short 1.6 miles. So even though we were doubling that, wet feet wouldn't bother me too much. I was glad I'd planned ahead and had dry socks and shoes waiting in the car though. Good girl. side trail here to one of the dispersed camping areas. It's not very far back here at all. It's a less than a quarter mile. And this is one of the better dispersed camping areas that I've seen so far. The ground is a little lumpy back here, but definitely decent enough that you can find a flat spot to set up. Nice little log to sit on. A couple of trees back here for hammock hangers even. After crossing a bridge over a small stream, 
Raven and I noticed these painted signs marking the border between Rock and Walworth counties. A few of the stray raindrops we had seen earlier in the hike returned as we skirted the edge of the farmer's field, but like the puddles, it was nowhere near enough to put a damper on our day out on trail. We've reached the other end of the Clover Valley segment. Raven and I will leave you here while we turn around and head back to the car. But we appreciate you joining us, and we hope we'll see you next time.